I'm recording this on Saturday, and boy, it is bright. This is Friday, the uh, 9th. No, yes, the 9th of August, 2024. How y'all doing? So, uh, today is Friday, and it is, you know, regular work day. I had to work most of the day, but it wasn't bad. Everything was mostly good. We did have someone quit at work, which... Honestly, it was someone who we had a lot of discussions on whether or not we should keep him because he just wasn't working out, but we really try hard not to let people go, and he took care of that, so that was actually a blessing, but now we were in a little bit under pressure to hire because he didn't give two weeks' notice. He gave two days' notice, so that's whatever. It's fine. It, oh, oh, in, in a few weeks, it'll be a, a, a good happenstance, but uh, the timing was good that we hadn't done anything that made keeping him make a lot of extra sense anyway so that was that was the big thing at work mostly pretty good um this uh this evening we did some after so i did a bunch of video editing and then um oh i forgot to mention yesterday dominica and the girls spent like the whole day hanging out while i was working so i didn't get to do a lot of this but dominica went on wednesday i did mention this she went to the china mall and bought just tons of chinese stuff not just goods but tons of like snack foods and uh tea drinks and different things because the girls really enjoy doing that stuff like trying foreign foods and trying uh foreign like tea and coffee and that kind of stuff so they're trying a bunch of that stuff and it's actually been really good for the most part, and they had a lot of fun with that. So uh, today we did a little bit more of that as well. So that was just a fun thing that they've been doing, not connected to anything else. They hung out some today, and then this uh, evening, for about four hours, we actually played a video game called Moving Out. It's a lot like the Overcooked games that we play together as a family. It's very action-oriented and a lot of a lot of work. And so we played that until about 11.30. Uh, so those are pretty much our whole evening. And uh, uh, we ordered in... Uh, uh, Korean food for dinner. Of course, they got our order wrong, so that was disappointing, but uh, the the game was a lot of fun. It's the first time that we've played that one. It was very overcooky in general. It's funny and action and puzzly, and it was good. And uh, uh, But at 11.30, while we were playing, the computer just died, like completely, like no warning, not an error, just it went blank. And luckily we had just stopped playing and we weren't like in the middle of something big. We weren't in the middle of a hard puzzle that we were about to beat. We weren't playing Mass Effect an hours in since the last save. So all that worked out okay. Uh, but, oh, we got a, I don't know if you can see the little butterfly flying around. So many butterflies and moths. And, and that's something. If you're going to be living here, expect butterflies and moths everywhere. Our house is full of them and big ones, much bigger than my hand. All over the house, all the time, and they and they're dumb. It's mostly the moths, and they just cycle around the house. They'll crash into you. They'll just run into your head. Here we go. <laughs> um, the butterflies are much better. Like they don't want to be in your face. They just they see they want to go to flowers. You're not a flower, but moths are just like, what are you? Bam, 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 and you like swat them away. They'll come right back. Like obviously they can't bite you. Just dumb. Uh, but so anyway, so the computer just died and it's it came back on and immediately couldn't come on like it immediately failed and uh, we've never had it in this bad a shape before so this is a new problem and this is the one that keeps limping along right so you know it's not the end of the world if it dies it is we actually just i just looked at the uh the the gpu on it and it's actually seven years old i'm not sure that we bought the computer seven years ago i think we bought it like five to six years ago but we have had it for quite some time we used it in texas for quite some time not not a ton of time but a bit of time before we came uh to nicaragua and uh so we got it somewhere in the 20 we could have got it in 2017, but I think we got it in 2018, 2019 range. Um, and that's 2019 is five years. Like we were planning on coming to Nicaragua five years ago. And we certainly bought it before we were planning to come to Nicaragua because it makes no sense to have that like that. Right. We would have done other planning. It was not suited for what for our needs. Um, and, and so it's it's older for sure. And we do have a backup. We have the the mini gaming computer. So it's like we can still play games and stuff. But this is our main workhorse, the huge hard drives and the really big GPU and everything. But it is it is getting up there, right? I'm going to step out of some of the sun. This is a little bit intense. And, uh, you know, it's not, out of the, it's not out of the question to start. Look, oh, that's way too dark now. I just got to... Um, it's not out of the question to replace it at this point. It's We've gotten a really good amount of use out of it as, a, as an older machine. And uh, spending a reasonable amount of money now would get us something with much more power and, and hopefully not these problems. I won't buy a Dell again, even though it was really cheap, and get a good Taiwanese. Like, the best computers are always Taiwanese. Like, it just is. Acer, Asus, all the best brands are always uh, Gigabyte. If you're building your own or pre-built, Taiwan just rocks at making computers. Not just CPUs, obviously, but the whole computer as well. So that is our plan to... Uh, to just get something good from Asus or Acer and 
call it a day, uh, but seven years newer GPU and CPU and, and faster RAM and all that. And our old one is on spinning rust. Uh, so moving to SSDs at this point would make sense even for big gaming storage. And uh, that'll make a big difference for usability. So, you know, it will get a lot of mileage out of it. I'm sure we'll be able to, you know, have it do double duty for different things. Um, so TJ, who watches my my other channel, uh, just built one that looked really interesting. I really like the case that he got and the size. And we're going to find out what it takes for him to ship it in. And we'll see just how that process goes, because if he's able to get the parts without any problem, we may just do the same thing. And, uh, you know, the biggest thing is the, the new ones can do ray tracing and stuff like that would be cool. Uh, we don't have like a super awesome monitor. We're very casual gamers, but getting something that's more attractive, something that can really like be put into a cabinet and and look nice in our uh, in our gaming space. That would be nice. And we're talking about maybe getting a new couch in there, too, because we do it so much. So at the moment. That is something that we're dealing with, uh, and that was our night. So with that dying at 11.30, I decided to call it a night and go to bed early because I was tired at the end of that. I did pretty well until right at the end. I was like, whoa, I'm getting pretty tired. When that happened, I was like, yeah, this is my chance to go to bed. So uh, tomorrow we have Social and Guillermo's dual birthday party out at Desperados. We're going to be there uh, all evening um, until late, late, and then we're going to Pelican Surf to party. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of beach party tomorrow night, and uh, see everybody tomorrow.